going on my fellow reefers frag box tv march here i want to show you some very cool new corals that we got in from indonesia look at this brand new weber set I don't know why we're showing this. Uh, sorry for the uh, hiatus. I lost my voice last week. I think too many, uh, maybe too many YouTube videos. So I was unable to talk to you guys, but we're back at it again. And we got in some new corals last night from Indonesia. So I just want to show you some of them. Because unfortunately, thank you to the Ford government, we are in a lockdown again here in Ontario, province of Ontario. Uh, due to COVID, cannot come into the store. So I'm going to videotape some of the corals and show you what we got in. Are you laughing at me? You laughing at me? <laughs> Dia's laughing at me in the corner. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> so, let's start with this over here. Some very nice Euphilia glabarensis. This is branching gold hammer coral. So, Indo's known for some of the, probably some of the nicest LPS corals in the world, especially hammer coral, and especially this one right here. This is a very nice variety of the branching hammer coral which is different than the Euphilia Ancora, which is a wall variety, which I think we didn't get any on this order. We don't get too many of them. I prefer the branching one. Uh, I find they're a little easier to keep, and it's cool that they branch, and if they get too big, you can always cut them down. The torches showed up a little rough, so they need a couple days. This is very normal, actually, for torch coral. When they come in, they come in just looking like crap. They look like they're on their last leg, and their tentacles are recessed into the skeleton and they don't look very happy and then usually within a day or two they're gonna come out and start looking good again sorry my voice is still a little wonky this is a very nice piece here uh, gold with uh, what did they call this kind of torch you know the name it's not the dragon soul it's the other really coveted one no? nobody knows Dylan's good with the names I'll keep uh, showing you what else we have this is some nice which are, oh yeah, that one's crazy. This is some pink tip torch. Purple. Um, purple? I'm colorblind. Well, it's purple. Green. Holy Grail? This one. Oh, this is Holy Grail? Yeah, this is really nice. I don't think the camera can pick up really how nice this is. It's green, yellow, white tip. Just really, really special piece. Really cool coral. Some nice Blastorusa. And some nice Sinarina. 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 I should know because we just did a video on these. Where is that cool sea whip thing? I'm going to show you this before the end of the video. Some nice mushroom corals, some more mushroom discosomas. These are the Polythoa grandis, so quite poisonous. Be careful with these guys. Don't frag them. Do your research before handling them. These are a weird kind of blue green variety, quite rare actually. And some pipe orchid over here. That's one of my personal favorites. I'm going to keep a piece of this 100%. Have a display tank here in the store. Let me show you what I have going on right now. Sorry, I know I'm bad with the camera work, but I love, love, love pipe organ. So I have a cool white one going on behind here where the Duncans are. And if you notice in a lot of my tanks, when I like a coral, I'll kind of use it over and over again in different spots. Sorry about the dirty glass. There's another pipe organ, kind of white with green, and then another one there in the back behind the Kenya tree. Another pipe organ there. Oh. Not three, I lied. There's four. I really like them. I got four of them. So that one that we just got is kind of a new variety. So I'll find a kind of a spot in here. I like collecting different colors of the same coral. What's the name of that torch, Dylan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mm -hmm torch. Okay, you'll find that on our website soon. That's the highly coveted mm -hmm torch. This is a nice <laughs> orange plate coral. Yeah, we got a wall variety there. Oh, we do have a wall variety. Haha. Uh -huh. Videos are better when you guys are involved. This is the Euphilia Ancora. So that's the wall variety of hammer. This is a very cool octospawn here. Some more pallies mixed in with some zoas. And some clove polyps. These are really nice, really fat and healthy. These ones are extra large, like two and a half, three inches. Really colorful tips. And the camera is never going to pick up how nice these are in person. These are open brain corals or what's the latin name i forget it's not coming to me open brain anyways that's the trachephilia joffrey yeah trachephilia mm -hmm. yeah so these are about to become very very rare because 
Indonesia recently um, is no longer allowing the export of wild corals, which is probably a good thing. So any corals that are coming out of Indonesia have to be uh, farmed or aquaculture, maricultured, whatever the word is. So I don't think they're farming these as of yet. I think all of these are collected off the reef. These are all wild collected specimens. So these could become pretty rare quite soon. So if you're thinking about getting one, now might be the time. Same goes for the uh, Sinarina that I showed you earlier. And uh, what's that other? Acanthophilia, this one over here. So they're not currently farming these. I, I believe they're all wild uh, collected. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And they're going to become rare. The price is going to shoot up, and we're not going to see them in the hobby anymore. Uh, this is pretty cool. These are sun coral. So we don't get these too often. When the tentacles come out, the polyps on these, they are the most vibrant, saturated, yellowy, orange, crazy, crazy color. They look fake. Like they look already fake right now. They almost look like plastic. They're so orange. And then the polyps, when they come out, there's there's almost no coral that compares to these ones in terms of color. They're really, really cool. This is a very unusual blast over here. Sorry for moving around too much with the camera. I get excited talking about corals. This one is really unusual. And this is a kind of red photosynthetic gorgonian. So I think we're probably going to keep this. Uh, knowing Tia, she's going to try and steal it for her rock work because March's rock over here on the left over here is starting to look pretty dope. The non-photosynthetic? Yeah, I think this is called a sea whip. I could be wrong. It's photosynthetic. This is called a sea whip. This thing is pretty cool. I do not know too much about it, so I cannot inform you about it today, but I'm going to go and research. It's just a really cool kind of piece. This over here is a very unusual Fabia. Very cool pattern, unusual uh, color combo. And then some crazy, crazy marble chalice we got in. Like just crazy. Beautiful colors. It's really cool to see what Mother Nature makes. This one is really cool blue and orange. And this one's just something else. Got a lot going out on. It's way, way nicer in person. Like almost all the corals I'm showing you. This is an Acan Enchanada. This we've had for a while. This is a. Hmm, the name is escaping me. Crap. I'll come back to that. I can't remember the name of it. Someone traded it in. Another nice plate coral over here. And then before I show you the star of the show, check out this pink Ganipora. This is probably one of the nicest ones we got. Just something else. This is a red. Um, elegance coral. It's the size of a football. It's got to be like 10, 12 inches across. And I've never seen one like this. It's almost like it's splitting. You can see going this way, and this way, and this way. And the color is really weird. It's got this rusty red with green tip. And I've never seen one like it. This is a real special piece. That's a showpiece that you're not going to see again. This one is really nice too. Quite large really healthy. Everything came in really healthy actually on this order. With the exception of a few torches, this is a classic. This is the Indonesian branching green frog spot with purple tips. Classic, classic coral. Everyone should have one of these in their tank. Super easy to keep. Dylan, what's the name of this thing? It's escaping me. Acre Industry Bower Banky. Bower Banky. So it's just a crazy rare color. That's a weird color. Oh, that's bouncing too. It's bouncing. Oh, okay. Even better. That's why it's fluffy. A bouncing Bower Banky. Yeah. And yeah, this is a weird coral. And it's a weird color too. It's got this rusty gold to it. Let me show you these real quick before we wrap up this video. But some long tentacle plate corals. Mother Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Let me come over on that side. That's a weird one. Thank you. You from all the I was just going through them. Yeah, this is Galaxia. We don't get this very often. Once in a blue moon. This is a very cool coral. Galaxia. Has quite a strong sting. So needs some space. He's probably going to get fragged up. You should see him available pretty soon. You should this hammer over here. This is very nice. Branching hammer. These are kind of cool. They do these combo rocks now where they grow them out. Hammers are nice because you can put two different types close to each other and um, as long as they're both branching, they shouldn't hurt each other. But yeah, overall corals came in super, super healthy, super colorful, very nice shipment. Let me see if I can quickly show you the acro because they didn't come in the best, but there's one or two pieces. Yeah, the yellow one's crazy. This one over here. Yes, hello. 
So Dylan has gone ahead and named this thing, uh, what did you call Banana it? Banana Blizzard. Banana Blizzard, sounds tasty. Yeah, really cool piece. This is a textbook Millie Pour Up. So easier, relatively easy SPS or Acro species to keep, Acropora Millie Pour Up. And you can tell he's happy because he's got these polyps out. You can see how hairy he is. So that's a really, really good sign, especially for something that's only been in our system for less than 24 hours. Like these literally just came in. This tenuous over here is crazy. Indonesia has some of the nicest hardcores out there, especially Millie's and Tenuous. Those, those two really um, steal the show for Indonesian corals. There's another one over here, kind of like a pink Millie. Another nice example over here. Yeah, overall really happy with these corals that came in. Everything's looking pretty good with the exception of a few. But yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Sorry for the hiatus, guys. My voice is still coming back. Um, but that's it. If you guys got any questions, I'll leave our contact info at the end like I normally do. I think we should do an update pretty soon on this one so I can show off how nice my rock is looking over here on the left and how Tia's is lacking and falling behind. I'm just kidding. The tank looks good overall. But yeah, guys, if you got any questions, hit us up. You can expect more videos to be coming soon because as we are back in a lockdown and this door over here is shut to the public, I got nothing better to do than make videos for you guys. So uh, hit us up. Thanks for watching, guys. And this is Fragbox TV.